You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Well hello there crafty friends, it's Holly with Melody Lane Inspired and I've decided I'm finally decorating this Joy Extra. When I first got it, I loved that it was white because it was a blank canvas and I just had to really think about what I wanted to decorate it with. And then I got these new materials from Cricut. That's right, this is new. This is Cricut's value vinyl that came out. So Cricut listened to what people wanted and they wanted something they could get in bulk that was high quality yet lower cost. So they came out with this value vinyl that's actually gonna be in 19 different colors. Um, and this is 10 of them here. So just this is just releasing today, guys. So what is different about this? What's different about this vinyl? Well, they are going to sell this only online. So this is only going to be available at Cricut.com. And they're able to sell in bulk. And then they minimize packaging also, which is how you get the cost savings there. So usually with the vinyl, you know, it has the liner on the back. This has a clear liner. But that's one of the things that's done to help reduce cost. This is going to be way cheaper per square foot too. I'll get into that kind of later on. But it's very similar to Cricut's permanent vinyl. It's coming in 19 different colors and they'll be available in 12 by 12 sheets and then they'll also be available in big rolls, but they won't have colors in all the rolls yet. And these will come available in 12 by 12 sheets like this in 50 packs or 100 packs. And then they also have 35 foot rolls available, 12, 12 inches by 35 feet. That is a lot of vinyl and that's great, especially people who make lots of orders and everything. Like we're getting that bulk pricing, but we're still getting great quality. And just by reducing some things. Now I will want to say, because it kind of looks like the iron on on the back, you will just want to make sure that you mark these. Um, but there won't be any box. The rolls will come in a roll with a label on it that is reusable. And then this pack here will come in a flat pack that you can also store them in. So we're seeing 10 of the colors here, which we have magenta, silver, black, white, brown, navy, true blue, true teal, true green, and true vermilion. And then on top of these colors, you're also going to get true pink, true orange, true yellow, mint, sky blue, lilac, and true purple. So I see two very melody colors in here. Actually, the two colors that match my nails. <laughs> now that I look at it. So I'm going to be taking these four colors here. I'm going to take the true teal, true magenta, the white, and the black. And we're going to go ahead and make a melody cutie, a melody angel cutie. And then we're going to decorate our joy. Our joy extra, which will bring me extra joy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to open up design space and I have my, I have my items here and I've just sized them down to what I think would be good, which I figured for the cutie was about two and a half by two and a half. And then for my heavy crafting about three inches long and two and a half high would be okay. So actually the Melody Cutie is in an image set called Melody that was made by Cricut in memory of my sister, which I love using those images. So all those images in there have something to do with my sister. And I just went in design space and I found these angel wings and I added these. So I'm going to be cutting this on my Joy Extra. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that and then hit make. We're going to be doing this on a mat. You will use the mat, unlike Smart Vinyl, you will still put this on a mat. Now we can go to browse all materials and then type in value. And here it has its own choice. So we can just select value vinyl and then hit done. Now let's talk about putting it on the mat. So you're going to want to put, there's a bolder side and a duller side, right? So we look at the black here and we can see the back of this is much duller. That's the part that's going to go onto the mat. And then we can look at the magenta and see it very easily. And all the colors is quite easy to tell. I haven't checked the silver, but I know with the white, now the white, because it's white and then the clear backing, this is harder to tell. So with the white, you always just want to go ahead and do a test. Just go to the corner and peel a little bit. And that way you can separate the liner from the actual vinyl and see what part you need to put onto the mat. So here the white is the vinyl and then the clear is the liner. So we're going to put that clear side down onto our standard mat. I'm going to hit it with the brayer and we can go ahead and load this puppy up. I just have to say like first thing I noticed in this, this comes off so good and it doesn't curl. 
I love them. I'm usually one that always flips my mat over because I don't like it to curl, but like, I don't have to do that with this. So now let's just go ahead and weed all of our different pieces. So weird with the and then these little pieces. I can just bend it and they come right off like that. So you can't use your weeding tool to grab it, but those come off of this liner. So incredibly nice. I would never even try to not use a weeder, but like I can just peel them apart very nicely. Just come on. Look at that. love getting to play with new things and they're like ooh schnazzy again if you need the weeding tool absolutely go ahead and use the weeding tool i am just loving the fact that i can i'm actually able to do this without a weeding tool and this is this is a little thinner than the premium vinyl too so it cut beautifully like what and you can absolutely get your weeding tool in here too i'm doing that for the little insides of the letters here Vinyl because it, it's so nice. Now we have all of our pieces weeded, so we're going to go ahead and start layering them. And I'm going to go ahead and layer them on here, and then we're going to go ahead and apply them to the extra. So this is three pieces here. So I'm going to go ahead and layer the happy crafting first. I have a piece of my Cricut liner with transfer tape here, so I'm just going to go ahead and press this on. Hit it with my scraper, and then we're going to peel back slowly. Go straight across it. Perfect. I've seen and I've done it before where people take parchment paper and put it part way down on here. Say like from here down. That way you can get it lined up and just stick the top and then you can peel the parchment paper back. But you know what? This liner is clear. So you don't need to do that. You could take the clear liner, scoot it down just a little bit, and then you can stick your top and then you can go ahead and pull it off and finish sticking it down. When we peel this back straight across it too, just go slowly making sure your edges are stuck down. Just making sure everything's stuck down as always. That was so easy. Look, and there is our finished sticker. That was so easy. And I don't imagine it, but when I weed, when I did weed through on the old vinyl, I would usually turn it over and then poke through the back. But because of the liner, just poke it through the front of the vinyl. If you use the weeder to weed it. But now I could, I could just peel this off and stick it on there, or I can use transfer tape. But I'm going to use it like a sticker, so I'm just going to peel this off. Love that, love that. And this is actually one of the new fonts from Cricut. This is the Alley B Connected, and I did mess with it a little bit because I did the H, then I separated and put the APPY for happy. And then the T was just too close to the F that I liked, kind of ran in each other a whole bunch. So I just did these as two different text boxes. And then I found a little shape and actually welded it. So I just welded that together to get that piece there. So if there's something with the font you don't like, like sometimes there was another font I loved, loved the font. But when I put the F and the T next to each other, because the F went up, the T line was going across the F. But just remember, you can always add more than one text box put a couple letters in each and then get little shapes and weld together to make it just how you like it. 
Okay, one done, one to go. So as I'm looking at this, I'm like, what's what's these two for? I don't quite understand. Originally, this design had two different colors of like teal, a lighter teal and a regular teal, and I changed it all to teal. So this is just that piece, but what would be another color? So I actually don't need this piece, so I can go ahead and take this out. And so we're gonna go ahead and layer this. I'm gonna start with the little pieces and then put those together and then go ahead and build to the biggest piece. So we're gonna do the exact same method we did with the last sticker layering on. So we're just gonna put each piece on the transfer tape. I'm gonna hit it with my scraper and then we're gonna go ahead and apply layer by layer and build on this. Always make sure you get it by the edges, especially this little hair here. We've got these little pointy edges there. So I wanna make sure I get those really good. And then if I'm gonna peel it, I like to peel, start from peeling from the side that doesn't have these little edges. Because if you start peeling this direction, you got all these little edges that you want to stick down. But if you start peeling from this decision, this decision, if you start peeling from this direction, it's only one and then those are gonna be the end and it should come off much nicer. And that was And when you're in design space, don't forget that if you're not sure what order it goes in, just look at that item. So I pulled up my cutie here and then the item at the top is the very top layer. And then the item at the bottom of it is the base layer. So then you can just build whichever way works best for you. Some people like to go big to small. On this one, I like to go small to big, only because if I mess up these little pieces in the beginning, I cut less material than if I screw up and then have to cut the bigger piece. So that's why I chose to layer it this way. So we're just gonna repeat this layer by layer, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some editing magic and let's speed this along. because each step of this you can line up the edge of the hair here and this is going to be the same on each piece minus the wings but perfectly I didn't see that there were little pieces to weed but it just stuck to the liner <laughs> so that's perfect I surely did not see those Now when I created this Melody Angel Cutie, I originally was using it for print and cut, so I did not think about layering it. What I would actually do is take the back of the wing and actually weld it to the back piece. That way there's a solid whole piece. So that teal piece, that's the back piece, would include the wings. And then I could have just layered the white and the black on top of that teal piece. That would make it look much more seamless. And there is the Angel Cutie. So now we just have to take the backing off and we will apply him. Looks good there. And I recommend cleaning the surface with rubbing alcohol too before applying. Oh my gosh! How stinking cute! My blank canvas has been decorating and I got my Melody Angel Cutie. And again, this is an image set Melody. So if you just type in Melody, you will find this one. And it's got another of her with a cutie with a flamingo because Melody loved her flamingos. But that image set is so special to all of us because Cricut designed it in memory of Melody. And that's pretty phenomenal. Is, did that not turn out cute? And that was that new value vinyl. Like, I'm mind boggled that that's value vinyl because it literally was so good to work with. Love, actually. I prefer the number on the back. It peeled so easily, it came off without curling. There was just so many things great about it. And its quality is similar to the premium permanent vinyl. So you can use it outdoors, you can use it where it gets wet. Same durability. I am loving that. Well, if you're interested in purchasing any, we're gonna go ahead and put the links below. And Easter is here. Happy Easter, everyone. Cricut again has their fun Easter egg hunt going on in Design Space. So each day there's a new hidden egg and there is a clue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the links to the post in Cricut Design Space, but each day it'll be a new clue and that egg only lasts for a day. 
And also in the links below, I'm going to put the link to the Melody Lane Cricut giveaway. This month we're giving away a Joy Extra Bundle. And today, like today, today, March 28th is the last day to enter. So you have until 11.59 p.m. So I'll put the link to that. So good luck to you all. We will be joining our friends in Columbus, Ohio for our Melody Lane Patreon Zoomer Hangout. And we're going to go see the full eclipse together. And we have all sorts of things planned. So we're going to go live from the hotel that Friday for our image sets. And then Saturday we're going to go live where we make our t-shirts that we created for the event. So join us for that. And if you're interested in joining, there's still rooms available. Like you can have a last minute trip. Just come. We're going to have a good time. We're going to play games. There's going to be karaoke. We're going to the German village. Uh, there's people going to the zoo, the aquarium, and we're going to have a good time. So check us out on patreon.com slash Melody Lane. Not only do you get access to our Zoom room, but you also get access to over a thousand ready to make projects. And we thank you guys for joining us. Let us know in the comments below, what do you think of this new value vinyl? Oh, and I guess I should have mentioned. This value vinyl per square foot is, I did the math, 68.4% cheaper per square foot than the premium vinyl. Because they did those things by like reduce the waste, the materials that it's packaged in, um, and all of that to bring the cost down, which is great because in this day and time, we can all afford to save some money. But I feel like it didn't jeopardize any of the quality by being cheaper. But one thing is you can only purchase it from Cricut.com. That's another way they keep the cost down also. So thank you guys. Thank you much for joining. If you could give us the like, we would appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the bell to subscribe and then you'll get updated. Well, you'll get notified whenever we have a new video come out. But we hope you guys all have a craftastic rest of your week and happy, look, happy crafting, everyone. Bye. And special shout out, sending big thanks to all of our Patreons, Patreons, our Patreons, our admins. We have a wonderful, wonderful admin team. And thank you to Cricut and our supporters. You guys, we appreciate you guys so much.